Very interesting table, as we saw before, more, more details, but now we take the basis because, as you will see just now, the amazing comparison between the story of Joseph in Egypt and Esther, the queen, in Persia. So as you remember, this was an interesting table, once in the Torah, which Dr. Rottenberg found you would get by Adar Purim, on the 13th of Adar, this Purim, which is basically, as we said, Tani, the fast of Esther, which comes here, when they were fighting with Amalekite and were winning. So this was, as you remember, the basis of a very interesting table that Dr. Rottenberg did. It was in one book, very significant one, as we mentioned a lot. But what I want to show you now, it is unbelievable the location of the place. He is also a Salah, but it was a great rescue to the Jews at that time, right? Now, amazingly, you can see it many times, it's named Joseph, 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 Joseph. Clearly showing that the story of Joseph in Egypt becoming a king is exactly like similar to Esther, who became a queen. Now, let us see what I saw with the internet. Very interesting comparison. So there are many parallels between the stories about Joseph and Megillah Tessa, School of Esther. The similarity emerges when one compares with both stories from the viewpoint of stylistic and content. Many of the expression and structures can be found in both stories. Even the life stories of Joseph, Esther and Mordechai bear an amazing resemblance. The following table presents a comparison between the story of Joseph and Esther. So let us see now this comparison, which is unbelievable. So we start Joseph, on the left side Joseph, and the right side Esther. Story takes place for most part outside of Israel. In Egypt, story takes place outside of as Israel in Persia. Joseph ascends to a high position in Egyptian government. Esther and Mordechai ascend to high position in Persian government. Joseph, upon reaching this high position, saves the Jews from famine. Esther and Mordechai, upon reaching this high position, saves the Jews from being killed, you know, is it like hunger and killing? Then, what we have here is more comparison. Joseph, upon reaching this high position, the saves the Jews, as we said, and then the ruler of Egypt is saved from death, from famine by Joseph. The ruler of Persia is saved from being murdered by Mordechai. Joseph rises to a high position through a combination of beauty and wisdom. Esther rises to a high position through a combination of beauty and wisdom. In Joseph's life, a good deed he does is forgotten for a long time. Interpreted as a butler dream. And Mordechai's good deed for saving the kings. Life is forgotten for a long time. So sleeps the dreams of Pharaoh Joseph was remembered and brought to solve them. So lack of sleep, Ash Achashverosh learned of the fact that Mordechai saved his life. One of the chief servants of Pharaoh the baker met death by hanging. The chief servant of the king, Haman, <laughs> met death by hanging. Joseph revealed himself to the brothers after a feast. Esther revealed herself as a Jew to the king after a feast. The language of the collection of the grain in Egypt is similar to the language of the gathering of the women in Persia. The language of the gathering of the women is similar to the language of the gathering of the grain in Egypt. So altogether, as we saw here, it is so interesting to see the comparison 
of so many things which really happened to Joseph and even to Esther, and really both are really indicating this story. Unbelievable. Here we have the, the 13th of Adar Purim, and a great rescue to Jews was they saved, and Esther, it was Tanit Esther, the fight with Amalek, and all together, if you go, all this story, Joseph, 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 has a story as we said, was very similar to the story of Esther. Mystically, it is much more behind, definitely, as the Vilna Gaon says, that Esther, who saved the Jewish people, she was like Messiah, the son of Joseph, and Joseph himself, definitely. It's an amazing comparison, but again, as I mentioned before, seeing that not only the appearance of a sentence, you know, in the right place, and so many connections, Esther, Tanit, and Malek, and much more as before, is even the location, the Torah, which also had very important implications and teachings. And also, as we said many times, that Dr. Rottenberg, who did this, he found this, <laughs> and he also did this program after Professor Ripps showed him what are the course and became out of the Jews, keeping Shabbat, everything. He said that if it becomes one book, especially Genesis, you know, all comes in one book. Genesis, uh, in a few chapters, and he says this itself is very significant. So interesting and important table.